So before we left Gatwick, we went into the bookshop and I bought this book with the idea I was going to read it on the flight, but that didn't happen. In Germany, there is quite a big thing about Ampelmann or Ample Mansion, who is the green and red crossing man. Um, there's stores dedicated to it and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I had these sweets bunched on top of the book, stuffed into my rucksack. And when I came back through Berlin Airport, I was pulled over by security. And when they opened my bag and saw what it was, I found it hysterically funny because they said to me it looked like I'd got a box of brains in my bag. However, it was a good opening point to the conversation that I then had with the security man who told me a little bit about the history of Ampleman. So I'm going to share that with you. The symbol was shown on pedestrian signals in Germany and prior to the German reunification in 1990 the two Germanys had different forms of the Ample Mansion with generic human figure in West Germany and generally male figure wearing a hat in East. The Ample Mansion is beloved symbol of in former East Germany enjoying the privileged status of being one of the few features of East Germany to have survived the end of the Iron Curtain with its popularity unscathed. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, the Ample Mansion acquired cult status and became a popular souvenir item for tourism business. You have arrived. The Ample Mansion was officially introduced on the 13th of October 1961 in Berlin, at which time the media attention and public interest focused on the new traffic lights, not the symbols. The first Ample Mansion was produced as decal pictures in the beginning of 1973. The Ample Mansion proved so popular that parents and teachers initiated the symbol to become part of road safety education for children in the early 1980s. The East German Ministry of the Interior had the idea to bring the two traffic light figures to life and turn them into advisors. The Ample Mansion were introduced with much media publicity. They appeared in strip cartoons and also in situations without traffic lights. The Red Ample Mansion appeared in potentially dangerous environments and the green was an advisor. Following the German reunification in 1990, there were attempts to standardise all traffic lights in West German form. East German street signs and traffic signs were dismantled and replaced because of different fonts and the former two German countries. The East German education programmes featuring the Ampelmann vanished. This led to calls to save the East German Ampelmann as part of the East German culture. The first solidarity campaigns before the Ample Man took place in Berlin in early Christmas decorations.
On the 6th of April 1933, the Nazi German Student Association's main office for press and propaganda announced a nationwide initiative against the un-German spirit, climaxing in a literary or cleansing by fire. Local chapters of the group were charged with the distribution of library blacklists that included Jewish, Marxist and socialist, anti-family and anti-German literature and planned grand ceremonies for the public to gather and dispose of the objectionable material. In Berlin, the German Student Union organised the celebratory book burnings that took place on May 10, 1933, on a dreary rainy evening. 40,000 people crowded into the square as 5,000 German students processed in holding burning torches to ignite the pile of books seized by the event. Joseph Goebel, the German Minister for Popular Enlightenment and Propaganda, spoke at the event, declaring that the era of exaggerated Jewish intellectualism is now at an end and the future German man will not just be a man of books. This late hour entrusts to the flames the intellectual garbage of the past. 34 additional book burnings took place across Germany that month. because I had a book sitting on top of the Ample Man candy that I bought. Um, that's the story I shall tell you about in my vlog. But actually, he was such a fab guy, he told me the history about the Ample Man, so I've got a little bit more to tell you about it. So, crack on, eh? So, we're through to departures, and now we need dinner. So, time to find food. So we're just tucking into some chips actually, really, really good again. 
Juliet's got hers plain. I've got the mayo. Um, really wasn't up for curry on it. Um, but maybe that's because I'm not very adventurous. But we're going to into these. Uh, we are in departures now, on time, thankfully. Um, we don't have a gate number yet. Um, and we're just going to go and then have a quick mooch around the shops and wait for the gate. Um, and then turn back on our um, Emmy terms. So see you soon. So we're at another departure day now. They will be suddenly announced that they've done a last minute diversion of our plane to another departure gate. So the whole lot of passengers has had to do the two minute mile to the new departure gate where really nothing much is happening. And I can't really see a plane here again. And I've just opened up duty free shops and everybody's just disappearing off and shopping. So, um, yeah, very bizarre really. But still, we'll get home at some point tonight, I guess. Hold on, I think it's under the seat in the end of here. So help us the van quickly. Keep the aisle clear for our water customers to board. If you are having an emergency...